TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 4 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. We reached the closing bell and we have the Dow closing at a new record up 224 points, closing at around 27,084. S&Ps finishing up about six points right at 3,000 on the dot and the Nasdaq negative six points trading at 8196. We have the Russell lagging off almost 10 points or six tenths percent, finishing up the day at 1555. And as we start it off we're gonna jump over to the VIX and the VIX 1304 as we had a little bit of negative action towards the second half of the day and that VIX elevating back above the 13 price level we'll jump over the future markets we'll start it off with the Dow and there's your day of trading trading higher for most of the session we were up there at 27,063 at about noon Back up there at 1, we dip lower until 2 o'clock, but we finish at highs, 27,081, looking at the September futures contract. NASDAQ 100, trading at 79.22, and you'll see NASDAQ and S&P, different charts than what you have going on in the Dow. We have United Health up big in the Dow, we have Boeing up big, we have Goldman up big, all of those contributing to the Dow, more so than the NASDAQ 100 or the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100, 79.21, we were down there below 7,900 briefly, within the last couple hours of trading. S&P 500, quite a run as well, 3,004. They're getting a lift as well on the likes of UNH. Some of those big contributors, Goldman. Crude oil backing off a bit, $60.46. There's your gold contract struggling today as gold was up at 14.25 at about 5 a.m. this morning. You trade down to about 14.06. Gold trading at 14.0895. And the euro US dollar sitting at 112.55. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, we got a bunch of news today as you have CPI putting up a pretty decent number. The overall CPI edging up 0.1% last month. But when you dig into the core number, you have Labor Department saying on Thursday, CPI excluding food and energy up 0.3% last month. That's the largest increase since January of 18. It follows four straight months of 0.1%, and that puts it in 12 months through June, the core CPI at 2.1%. So with that in mind, yield prices, yield prices, yields 2.13% on the 10-year. Pretty interesting there. Stay tuned, folks. We got a treat. We got our man Basil Chapman filling in for the second hour of the Tom O'Brien Show. Should be an interesting hour as we wrap up that trading. Basil Chapman coming up right now.